Hi guys, today we're going to be teaching you how to do fractions and decimals IXL for 5th grade. And today we're, um, this is a good day. And now let's start teaching you how to do fractions and decimals for fifth grade math. So you can write a fraction as a decimal since they both represent parts of a whole first. Find an equivalent fraction that has a denominator of 10 or 100, then write the decimal using place value. Try it for 3, 4. So see how we multiplied it by 25? He didn't just multiply it by 2 to give him 8, or 3 times 2 to give him 6. He used it right. So, now we're going to be teaching you for 4150 ifs. So, 4150 ifs. Here you go. Multiply it by 2. 50 times 2 is 100. 41 times 2 is 82. So your answer is 82 hundredths for this one. Now, see how I made it 82 hundredths and a decimal for his 0 0.82. Now let's try it for 11, 20 ifs. So here we write 11, 20 ifs. Now you multiply it by 5. 20 times 5 is 100. 11 times 5 is 55. So the answer is 5,500ths. And the decimal is 0 0.55. There you go. Now let's try it for one half. Let's multiply it by um, don't multiply by, mo by 50, try it by 50, 2 times 50 is 100, 1 times 50 is 50, so you got 50 hundredths for this one, and you can write the decimal as 0 0.5 or 0 0.50, whichever way you like it. Now let's try this one for 2750 ifs. Multiply it by 2. 27 times 2 is 54. 50 times 2 is 100. You got 54 hundredths as your answer. So now I'm going to write 54 hundredths here and Write it as a decimal, 0 0.54. Now let's try it for 1725. So 
Now you multiply it by four. I believe you do. Twenty-five times four is one hundred. Seventeen times four is sixty-eight. So you got sixty-eight hundredths as your answer. So now I'm going to. Write that down. Sixty-eight hundredths. This is how I line mine up. So the answer is zero point six eight for this one. All right, guys. Thank you for watching this video about. Fractions and decimals, and here's one half. You can also equal it to five tenths here, whichever way you want it. Fifty tenths or five tenths. All right, guys. Thank you for watching this video about how to do. Fractions and decimals, page ninety-five in our book, and hopefully we will see y'all later. Thank you.